Well, Lou, great win this afternoon. Um, what was your take on the performance overall? Yeah, it was a weird game, really, because first half we've we've come in, you know, cruising at three 0 I think it was, and you know we're speaking in the dressing room about keeping a clean sheet and maybe getting another couple and finishing strong, and then it went completely the other way, really, where they come back into it, a couple of sloppy goals on both sides, and you know we were looking at the clock then, thinking how long left, and but you know we, we I think we were comfortable at the end of the day. You know the scoreline suggested maybe more of a game of it, but yeah, we we were probably you know comfortable for the whole night. Yeah, and on the first half performance, it seemed to be really professional. Some, some great touches, some great movement, and some great goals as well to finish her off. Yeah, the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been working on some patterns, and it's, you know, I think um, I think that's three three wins on the bounce now. The second time we've done it, and we've been in the dressing room saying that if we could maybe you know go three and then go one better and go four, which will hopefully you know be Monday. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's coming together in the second half of the season. Our waveform's been probably one of the best in the league all year, and if we you know. It is what it is now this season. I think you know we'll always look back and go what if, but but next year if we can continue our away form and you know improve our home form, we're going to be a real force. Yeah, in terms of you mentioned the record there, three wins. It obviously one extended four. Was that was that mentioned in the dressing room after the game? Today? Yeah, it was. It was because like you know we've we've got to set targets now. Like, even though the season we're not going to go up, we're not going to go down. We still need something to play for. We need some something that we're all working towards. And and that was it. Now go go four on the bounce. First time we'll do it. This season, if it's, if we, if we manage to do it Monday, which you know we're not taking for granted, but that's our aim now, just finish as high as we can possibly finish, and you know build some momentum for next year. Yeah, and on a personal note, obviously two goals you shot today. You made your fifth appearance last week as well. It's been a pretty busy and exciting last few weeks as well. Yeah, that's it. You know, I've had I've had a few injuries as well, so you know it, it does feel like 50 have, have, have come up fairly quickly. I think really over the in terms of time, it's only about a season and a, and a half I've been here, but. Yeah, for me personally, you know, it's been it's been a bit of a up and down season. I've had the you know the FA Cup run and all the highs of that. Then I've had a you know I think it's about ten weeks out injured. So for me now, to, I think that's sixteen for me now. So you know, in terms of my numbers, I'm you know I'm, I'm really really happy with my numbers. It's just I, I wish I had a little bit more time on the pitch. Really, if if injuries never happen, to get some more. But with the time I've had, I can't I can't really complain really of what I produced. Yeah, and on the injury, you've had obviously you had a variety of different injuries since you've been here. How tough has it been? And, and scoring like delay and having that feeling scoring, it must be you take it all back to, to being in the treatment room for, for so long. Oh, it does. As, as a striker, you know, I, I am, you know, there's no, I think can't get away from it. I'm selfish, I want to score goals. That's just the nature of, of the position, I think. But, you know, Rick, Rick's done unbelievable since I've, you know, been injured and stuff. And, you know, if, if I was managed, managed to have a few more games, you think, you know, what were the numbers we would have produced together, really, considering what we've done already? Um, you know, with me missing probably about 12 games, 13 games. So, yeah, it's 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 one of them really. I've just uh, every time I go on the pitch, I just try and do my best for the team and you know s- scoring. That's that's what I'm there to do really. So, yeah, I'm happy if I manage to do that and we win. So, yeah, yeah I'm, moving like on the, I'm moving on to Monday. Obviously, a huge game again. Looking to, to get the four in the road, like you said, it's going to be a jam-packed crowd again. How much looking for the Monday? Oh yeah, I think you know. Even though we've we've been disappointed with our home form, we always love playing at home. You know the setup's unbelievable, the fans are unbelievable, and you know even though Yate are probably down, I think, but they will still want to have, you know play for pride and we want to put a performance on, um, you know to show what we're about really, and hopefully we can do that Monday and then we're into the last couple of weeks of the season and try and finish as strong as we can. Yeah, I'm just speaking to Smudge here finally about the obviously the recovery period. Now we've got that, that extra day this year than we have in previous years. As a player, how much of a, a difference does that make? Oh, it's, it's, it's massive, you know, just one day recovery, you know, is, it, it is tough and, and demanding on the boys. So just having that extra day is, is going to help, hopefully, then, you know, it'll show Monday. But, but yeah, we just got to recover right and, um, you know, go again Monday, really. Cheers, Luke. All right, no worries.